going on everybody it's your boy virus here back for another video and this is game two of the best of three series um one nothing goes to computer he is right now the purple zerg and then the versus the yellow terran which is dark recyclator I, I don't know how to say his name i i don't and i don't care okay Let, let's i keep calling i'm just gonna call him dark okay computer sounds easier to, is easier to say um so we got a tvz um, it's going to be interesting because I love Versus and Zerg as Terran because my fast vessel strat would literally just destroy their mineral pile before they even thought about putting sunk, I mean spores up. Because I'll go three racks, factory, starport, science facility, irradiate, boom. Like I'll instantly just try to, it's, it's almost like, it's not a race to getting maxed. It's not a race to getting tanks. It's a race to getting a vessel with a radiate. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, or EMP, depending on if it's Protoss. But nine times out of 10, if I'll pick a radiate because it'll affect Zerk and Terran. So. Um... Give me one sec. back i don't know if game one even had a good sound or not it, 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 it's kind of hard it's hard doing this with dual monitors because i don't know if it's working or not it's weird all right so anyways let's get back to this let's go let's see what's going on all right he's scanning across the map again so he obviously isn't hacking um it's usually a, a traditional thing plus you want to see if there's a mid build going on with protoss or Terran. so that's a good start he didn't choke However, I do not agree with that, especially versus a Terran, because you need to get to expand that choke. So that way, he can't push with a siege. Um, the only time I don't choke is if I know my opponent's Zerg, because it's basically just whoever masses more, whoever makes more units and just outmasses, because, you know, it, it takes up the time and economy. For it, unless he's going fast draws, but he looks like he's going fast air, so I'm really shocked it didn't choke. In my opinion, in the old school, like 15 years ago, what we did was we choked every game no matter what. But times are different, so I don't really know. Let's see, we got all right, so the Zergons will win this fight, however, man, he needs to get a bunker down. He sees those lanes. He's got to go right for a bunker. He, If you don't... Dude, this might be quick. This might be quick. Now, if he's... If computer's smart, he'll actually target that uh, factory. That's what I would do. Alright, he got, he did get... He is going for the bunker down. Good with the link. That's a good job with the um, targeting the lanes with uh, fire bats and getting fire bats down. He's probably got stim now. I mean, he does have stim. I just heard it. Duh. All right, yeah, you sh you definitely want to get you want to get rid of that factory. If if I saw him making that factory, I would target the SCV to stop the production of it and try to kill it. Because if you killed that, that just makes him so far behind. And then your hydrolysis will come in and just destroy everything. But for him, he needs to get this air going. I mean, like I would be building my science facility right now. And I would have had my factory built in the back of my base. Factory back here. Starport. Science facility. Because that way, I know he's not dropping with Zerg. I mean, he can. I mean, Zerg can drop. But there's no way in a 1v1 or oh, Zerg is going to just go through that hassle of dropping on somebody. I don't think so. 
and you can always put a couple turrets to block the drop or and even if that doesn't block the drop if they're dropping nine times out of ten it will be just a lurker and you'll have the lurker vision with the with the turrets so you know there you go he's getting a star port he's like i would say he's like a minute behind though those zerglings did like slow him down a lot Four racks. See, he's trying to outmass the Zerg. It's not a good idea. Although, he is... He is pushing with Zerglings. So, it is slowing his production time down. Um, he's not really being effective with these Zerglings. The Zerglings should be... I mean, they're useless at this point. In my opinion, they're useless because... There's just too many units. And you're still pumping out Zerglings like they're going to do something. They're really not. He's getting his tech down. you got to destroy that. No, it's over. He already got it. There, he it's good. He targeted the starport. He should have that with the factor in the very beginning, where he didn't have that many. Um, he, you gotta stop creating zergling. Okay, he's making lurkers now, um, which is good. He needs to get his vessels. This wouldn't work against me because I would have vessels right now. But yeah, he's he he can. Oh, he has to back up. He doesn't have it. He, he's trying to get it. Okay. This could be GG. It depends. You better target that tank. Oh. I guess it wasn't in range. I thought the Lurkers had a lot better range than that. Yeah, you went a little too berserk in there real quick. Oh, you're making more Lurkers. I don't agree with this. You don't even have air coming. He, yeah, this is actually... Alright, Terran's going to win this game. He's going to make a science facility... I mean, a uh, vessel, and it's going to be over. Because if that makes his lurkers useless. He's going to be able to outmass him because he only has three hatcheries. So this looks like, it, this looks like it's going to go to a Game 3 um, final series match. So... Uh, I don't know what his plan is. I really don't. Yeah, and he's got... Okay, well. Might as well put GG in the chat right now. You're going for defilers. No, there's no way. There is no way. It's too late. Unless the Terran really screws up, it's really too late. You're open to a vessel, a radiate. You're open to drops. You're open to... You don't have vessels. See, this is what I'm talking about. You, you're going to screw up because you're just throwing your, your units away. You know he has lurkers down there. Look, you know he has more lurkers. You went, like, perfect timing, though, he unburrowed. But still, like, you know he has lurkers. Why are you sending your marines away? You need more hatcheries. You need to put more drones on the minerals because your production is not outmassing him and if it's not outmassing him, especially since he's double cc about to be triple cc yep here comes a triple cc you're in trouble they're gonna lose this match i'm about 95 percent sure the zerg lost because he's trying to do zerglings and lurkers but the problem about it is is he's got detectors now and he's got drops coming so Which is funny, because he didn't even have that coming. Now he's going for... Yeah, he has no defense. He's he. It's like he's trying to still rush. You can't rush. There's no way you're going to get through. You see, that's the only play that he had right there. Because, I, cause I, like I said, he went for defilers. Like that, That's the only play you had there. But the whole time, I was thinking that he was going to be done before even he got the defilers out, honestly, because of how... Um, alright, you're not mining. Now, keep in mind, these guys aren't pros, so, but, so, they will make a lot of mistakes, but it doesn't, they're, they're still decent players, you know, so... I mean, even pros make mistakes, but that's not my point. I don't understand why it even got to this point of the game. Yeah, see, you did get dropped. 
You have no minerals. This is GG. He's trying to push in to win the game. I, it's not going to happen, bro. You just got dropped. And irradiated, probably. You did get irradiated. Ugh. If this Zerg doesn't... This is the only chance the Zerg has of winning right now. Why do you make a Hydra then? Other, I mean, if you're not going to mass Hydras. I mean, you one of the Lurkers, I know, but... I don't get it, dude. Four... That's three, six, nine. That's 12 at a time of larvae you can use. And you need drones. And he's just going to radiate you again. Why are you bringing your Hydralis up... When you could take that stuff out, you need to get rid of that stuff. This stuff is in the back of your base. It's not like you're going to build spores. He irradiates you one more time, you're done. And he's got enough for it. But he's equally as bad as you, so... He's not even paying attention. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I knew you guys were going to watch this. That's going on. 228 p.m. is computer. 174 dark. But... I just don't understand the whole, the whole purpose, the whole, I don't understand this, this, these matchups. Like, I don't understand the goal. Like, look, you just got, yeah, it's GG. You, you can't make any more drones. You better hope these are drones or if they're not, you better cancel them because you don't have enough money to make another drone without any drones. You're done. That's your last drone. Yeah, you lost. GG. Oh my god. You're not paying attention, bro. You can't make any more drones. You can't cancel anything either. You have no more money. GG. GG. There, it's a 100% chance of losing now. Because he can't make a drone. Alright, we're going to a game three. Of this best of three.